Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Foundry. Today's reading is an energy check-in to see what's going on in the current energy. We'll look at the current situation, the current feelings, what might be hidden. We'll take a look into love, career and finances, get an overall general message and see what the possibility is based on the current energy. Thank you to those of you who have requested personal readings or made donations. It's very much appreciated. Spirit, please connect to the Pisces subscribers of this channel and their guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher selves in high vibrational energy to get the messages and guidance that Pisces needs for their soul's journey at the time they view this video. So let's see what's going on for you today. So in the current situation, Pisces, we have, well, this is interesting. We have a tower. Now the tower, we will dive into this and get as much detail as possible. Sudden change, sudden unexpected change, breaking away from strongholds, changing something that is really overdue for change in your life. What's in the current feelings? Wow, baby, this is love. Now it doesn't necessarily have to be love. It's about unions, choices, decisions. I am feeling the sense of pairing. Um, now, this is in the feelings position, so you could feel um, a sense of having union with something or someone coming together, feeling it could also be that the tower is catalyzing your feelings and making you feel as though you need to make a choice in some area. What is hidden? Three of wands, there is something on the horizon, something coming in that you don't quite see yet, growth, expansion. Your ship is coming in and you don't quite see it yet. What is happening in love? We have the Six of Swords. You're moving into a new chapter, a calmer chapter. You may have had some very turbulent times emotionally, but it's important to remember not to carry your mental baggage with you forward. You're heading towards something much more positive, much more pleasant in the emotional and love area. In career and finances, we have the five of wands. Some of you may have been applying for jobs. It's an extremely competitive job market. A lot of um, people entering the job market. It could also be, some of you could have had a lot of chaos or change in your career and finances. We'll take a look at that. What is the general message? Magician, manifest the heck out of your life, baby. What do you want? Choose what you want. You have the skills, you have the talents, you have the abilities. Reclaim your energy from the things that are draining you and reinvest that energy into the things that will support you and lift you up. And in the overall possibility or outcome, we have the, the four of coins. This is about you having your foundation. Some of you will need to be saving money. Some of you will need to be focusing on your security and your stability as well. The four of coins, four of pentacles, is a, the fours are about stability, foundations, pentacles are about materiality, tangible things. So it's your, your material foundation, your stability, your security is what's coming through. Let's see what's going on in this bloody tower. What is this tower for Pisces, please, Spirit? What does Pisces need to know about this tower for the current situation? What is this tower for Pisces' current situation, please, Spirit? What does Pisces need? Thank you. We have three cards coming out for the tower. The first one is the Ten of Pentacles. Now, this is actually quite a, a nice card to have clarify the tower. This is about security, stability. Again, foundational aspects. The next card... Baby, six of wands, sudden recognition reward. I, I hear, heard for, for some of you, not all of you, you could see some type of pay raise or increase. Um, and then we have the page of pentacles. This is an offer, an opportunity, a very tangible thing coming into you. I am feeling you're unexpectedly, some of you may be recognized for something or unexpectedly have some new opportunity be presented to you. What is this Ten of Pentacles? Now, the Ten of Pentacles also does um, represent um, commitments, family, security, stability. So it could be in all those. For each of you, you're in a unique um, dynamic and experience. So it could be related to that. Let's dive into this Ten of Pentacles. What is this Ten of Pentacles for Pisces, please? 
What? Thank you. Wow, we have quite a bit coming out. We do have the Emperor, so it could be an organization, leadership, the Emperor's Aries energy, somebody who might be older than you. Let's see what else we have. And the High Priestess, Pisces energy, your intuition. The next card we have here is the Chariot. You're going to be moving forward. This is victory. This is success. And we have the Four of Wands, baby. This, again, speaking to the Four, security, stability, you're moving forward to a new foundation. Whether you see it or not right now, we see that the Four of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles, this is stable. This is secure. What is the Six of Wands for Pisces, please? What is the Six of Wands? I'm hearing also, especially for some of you who have been without foundation, without that security, without that stability, you're entering into something new and it's, it's you don't see it coming. Tower, Three of Wands, and we have the lovers for the second time. The lovers is in your feelings. You're making a choice. I think here, you know, you're going to be making a very successful choice. There's a divine protection covering you. If we look at, at literally looking at this, there's divine archangel protection over your choices, over a union, over something that's coming in for you. It's going to be very successful. This could be recognition, rewards, adoration, some type of victory and success, six of wands and chariot. This is major success. What is this page of pentacles, please? What is this page of, thank you, page of pentacles here, Pisces. We are getting the star. Star is Aquarius energy. This is your hopes, your dreams, your desires coming into fruition. Some, some message or opportunity, something new is coming in to align you with an opportunity what is this lovers and the lovers in the feelings position feeling as though you may need to make a choice what is this lovers for pisces in the feelings position pardon me what is this lovers for pisces in the feelings position please spirit what do they need to know about this feelings lovers here i can't you know we we have the tower some change is going to be happening let's get one more card here for this lovers one more card for this lovers show us baby you have something coming in and it's going to make you feel some type of way suddenly an offer an opportunity is coming in and you're going to unexpectedly feel some type of way or have some opportunity that was not afforded to you before what is this tower what is this tower for pisces please tower for the second time lovers for the second time what is this tower for Pisces? Thank you. For It's literally, this is in the feelings position. Cups are feelings, emotions. The ace of cups is a big, fat, juicy, new emotional beginning, a blessing coming over your life, an emotional renewal, bringing peace, bringing cleansing. Suddenly, unexpectedly, we have the knight of cups bringing in this big, fat, juicy cup. So let's see what's going on in this knight of cups. What is this knight of cups for? I'm hearing it's about time. <laughs> and then we have the Eight of Swords. Literally, it's about time because you've been in your head. You've been in this pattern of being stuck, feeling perhaps as though this isn't for me. How am I going to find this? Whatever this is, it doesn't have to be a romantic connection. This is just speaking to your feelings. You may have been feeling as though you don't see a way forward. But here we see you're going to, with the tower, be breaking free from something some type of situation in your feelings aspect of where you felt as though you couldn't break free you were stuck so this is a unstucking a clearing of the way what is this three of wands for what is hidden for from pisces or what is hidden what is this three of wands please spirit what is this three of wands please spirit what is this three of wands please thank you and we have the ten of wands one more card for this three of wands please this is closing out a chapter, turning your back to a burden. What is this three of wands? One more card, please. This is a new beginning on the horizon for you. Putting down. I'm, I'm hearing also some of you have been carrying a burden that nobody knows anything about. You have been suffering in silence. You have been carrying a load, a burden. Okay, so spirits, tell me to clarify the Ten of Wands instead of getting another card. What is this Ten of Wands, please? Thank you. It has changed you. You are very much looking forward towards celebrating the assimilation of the burden. 
you are looking forward, you are putting this behind you and you are getting the heck out of this cycle. You're moving forward, celebrating, having joy return to your life, shining the light on the things that are, are, are positive and beneficial to you. You're literally getting in your boat and riding forward. Your deuces be Pisces out. What is this? Six of swords for Pisces in love. What is the Six of Swords for Pisces in love, please? And here we have two cards. The first one is the Ten of Swords. Can't make it up. You're literally getting out of a cycle of trauma, of pain, of betrayal, backstabbing. Um, I, I, I am hearing, and I have to tell you what I'm hearing. Some people are moving forward from, um, and I'm going to say this in a, a correct way, um, some of you may have had medical problems or issues related to intimate matters. Um, you're moving forward from that in some regard. And then here we have the star healing. Star for the second time in our reading. Aquarius energy, healing, moving forward. The stars are aligning for you. This is also speaking about a connection. Let's see what's going on in this Ten of Swords, please. I, I heard somebody hurt you. Um, moving forward from that. What is this Ten of Swords, please? What is this? Thank you for the Ten of Swords. We're having, this is, this is beautiful. This is beauty for ashes, Pisces. Remember how we were saying about the cups are that emotional space. This is going out of a cycle that has really tormented you, caused you trauma, caused you pain, um, that you needed to recover from with the star and blessing your life with the Ten of Cups. So you are turning your ashes into beauty here. And what is the star for Pisces, please? What is the star for Pisces, please, Spirit? You're moving forward in beauty. Queen of Wands, you are moving forward in beauty and radiance. As you are releasing this old dialogue, this old paradigm, this old cycle, you're moving forward, reclaiming your power. Queen of Wands, Feminine, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. You could have a prominent change occur during Sagittarius season related to your emotional space, emotional body. Um, here, let's continue on with this Five of Wands in Career and Finances. What is going on for Pisces with this Five of Wands in Career and Finances, please? What is going on in this Five of Wands for Career and Finances for Pisces? What is this Five of Wands? I, I am, okay, we have a lot coming out for this Five of Wands. And before I look at these, what I was saying is you may have a lot going on in your career and finances. There may be a lot of people's, literally a lot of people's hands um, that are dependent, that are making dependencies on your path. Here for the Five of Wands, we have the Five of Swords. Absolutely. This is a, a very difficult energy. The way to get through this is going to be listening to your intuition, learning and recognizing what situations are red flags, which situations are unhealthy, where people, situations, corporations, your own financial um, situation or spending is actually, I am hearing causing harm or, or not working in your best interest. Let's continue. And then here, the next cards, the next set we have is, it's time to let go, Pisces. It's time to make that change. It's time to transform your career and finances and have emotional mastery over the situation and change. So we are seeing a, a call here to change. You're, something that is not working, something that is dysfunctional, something that is not supporting your highest good in career and finances. What is this Five of Swords for Pisces? This is change. Five of Wands, Five of Swords, Knight of Wands, change. Hangman, transformation, change, evolution, having new insights from your intuition. And even if you don't want to, you are being called to make some type of change for the thing that makes you feel, um, I'm, I'm feeling a, a, a energy suppression. So it's like the things that bring you low, it's time to release. What is this Five of Swords, please? What is this Five of Swords? Thank you. For the Five of Swords, we, it's a decision. Decision call. Going in the path of where you are called. Going in the path that you are being led. Some of you have been ignoring a call to make a change in your career and finances. The next card we have is the High Priestess. Your intuition for some of you have been has been speaking to you very clearly, but you have not been listening. What is this High Priestess? 
for two cards for the high priest three we have go in the direction of your wish fulfillment but here we see the ace of cups not seen not there is a reluctance i'm hearing there's a reluctance to believe that things will work out better than you expect because you've had the Ten of Swords, you've had the Eight of Swords, you've had so much pain, so much trauma, so much disappointment that it's hard for you to believe that you have something much better coming in. You may not see it now. Three of Wands, you may not see it now. A cycle is, is ending. You're going to have celebration and you're going to assimilate this lesson and move forward wiser, stronger in the direction of your wish fulfillment. There is an opportunity coming in that is going to put you in a place that's going to be more secure and more stable. Let's see what this hangman is. What is this hangman for Pisces? What is this hangman, please? For the hangman, we have the Knight of Cups. Can't make it up. Knight of Cups for the second time. The first time it's in the feelings. This is a, an emotional change. Hangman clarified by the Knight of Cups in career and finances. This is a new offer coming and that's going to be transformative. That's going to enable you to release, as we were saying, something that is not working in your career and finances. What is this King of Cups for Pisces? What is this King of Cups for Pisces, please, Spirit? And here, interesting, Ten of Cups or Ten of Pentacles coming out for the second time. And we have the King of Cups clarified by the King of Cups needing to take control of a situation, understanding the direction in which you're being led. The, oh, thank you, Spirit. They're also saying many, many, many of you are extremely highly creative. And you may have been wanting to apply your creative capacities and capabilities in your career and finances. The King of Cups in business and career and finances is an indirect application of creative skills. What the heck does that mean, right? So a direct application of creative skills would be, for example, a painter. A painter directly creates. An indirect example would be utilizing creative thinking in order to plan something out. Does that make sense? So apply that. And then here, the next card we have is the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords is a plan for your security, for your stability. You, some of you could do business planning, project planning, or are, re, are being asked from Spirit to do financial planning as well. What is this Knight of Wands for Pisces? What does, some of you are going to be moving or traveling for work as well. What is this Knight of Wands? Thank you. Oops, hold on. And we have the Seven of Wands and the Queen of Swords. This is, Queen of Swords is a professional. It's about somebody who makes the right, best choices. You, you, I feel you may even stand out amongst um, competition. You're definitely doing what you need to do. Making the changes is what we're seeing here in order to go forward and be more prosperous. Ten of pentacles, nine of pentacles, to be more prosperous in your career and finances. And we see, obviously, it's up to your free will and your decisions to um, move forward in the ways that we're discussing. But we see the, the possibility there if you choose to. What is this magician for the general message for Pisces? Please be clear. What is this magician for Pisces? Thank you. We have the two cycles. Okay, one more card for this magician, please. What? One more card for this. Some of you have been juggling your energy. Remember how we said earlier about reclaiming your energy from cycles? You've been split. Maybe some of you have been also of two minds or two energies, a lower and a higher vibration. This is about making a decision there could also be a, a message coming through. Let's clarify these. So Spirit, what is this Two of Pentacles, please? It's time to manifest a new cycle as well. And here with the Two of Pentacles we're having coming out, this is the lower energy that you are going to be reclaiming in order to go on a new path. Time, time to end the cycle of, of lack, rejection, abandonment, ill health, you know, whatever that five of pentacles is for you, it's time to come out of that cycle. Put the burden down. What is this pie? pie? What, what is this page of wands, please, Spirit? What do we need to know about this page of wands? What is this page of wands for Pisces, please, Spirit? Thank you so much. 
And here, Pisces, it's time to rest. It's time to go to a place of repose, meditation, of calm. So you, and I, if we look at the contrast of the Five of Pentacles and the Four of Swords, we're seeing exactly how we were saying coming out of a, making the decision to no longer split your energy and moving forward, manifesting calm, coming out of lack, coming out of that lower energy and going into a place of stability, solidity. Fours, again, being you know foundational. We have many fours in this reading. Swords being that place of mental peace and calm. What is this? Four of coins for Pisces for the overall possibility. What is this four of coins, please? I'm, I'm hearing for some of you, you're going to have an opportunity that's going to enable you to save more money or to have a, a, a more secure foundation. Some of you may have been robbing Peter to pay Paul, so to speak, metaphorically, and this is going to help you perhaps catch up a little bit. Here, Ace of Cups coming in for the second time. This is that opportunity coming in, some blessing coming over your life. Here, Seven Swords. Be prudent. This is the blessing that's coming over your life is not to be shared, not to be boastful, not to be bragged. I'm hearing be humble, Pisces. This is your blessing coming over your life. Make darn good use of it. What is this Ace of Cups, please? What is this Ace of Cups for Pisces? Thank you. For the Ace of Cups, we're having the Strength card. You have been patient. You have endured. And as a result, this is coming in for you. What is the Seven of Swords, please? What do we need to plan wisely? Be very, 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 very prudent about what's coming in. It's going to create change in your life. Some type of movement, some type of decision is coming that's going to be additive to your life. Spirit, one card for the overall energy of this reading for Pisces, please. Oops, come on now. One card for the overall energy of this reading for Pisces, please, Spirit. And obviously, you know, this is a general reading, checking on the energy. So how this comes in for each of you will be different. And here we rejoice in celebration, three of cups for the second time. There is something coming in that is going to um, enable you or, or propel, catalyze you to have um, joy, to celebrate. Then we have emotional withdrawal. Um, so I am getting, this is the component of not, not sharing all your secrets, not sharing all your blessings. This victory, Chariot, Six of Wands, this victory, this opportunity that is coming into your life, you may be celebrating in isolation, right? It's not a blessing for everyone. It's a blessing for you. Spirit, one love and light oracle for Pisces for this reading. And here, Pisces, we are get, getting... Take care of the little things. This is the attention to detail. This is the planning the being prudent about matters, the river of God has plenty of water. It provides a beautiful harvest of grain, for you have ordered it so. This is blessings coming in. It's harvest time, Pisces. Spirit, one angel answers to close out this reading for Pisces. One angel answers to close out this. Thank you so much. And we have a couple coming out. The first one we have is, this is exactly what we were saying earlier, your free will. This is up to you. The, a predominant energy we have in this reading is about your choice, your free will to come into union, come into union with a person, a, a, a place, a job, a career, a financial um, foundation, whatever choices you are being presented to, it's up to you to make the choices. When you make the choice, we do see the change catalyzing and taking hold. In the past, it has not been the right time. I'm going to clarify this. I'll get another deck and clarify this. Why do we have not the right time here? What's going on with not the right time? Two cards. You have literally, and it's interesting because here not the right time is set down on the strength card and we have the strength card here. You have been very patient and now Knight of Wands, it's time for this change to come in. And then we see the page coming in. You're in the early days of the blessing coming into you. In the past, it has not been the right time. Things needed to come together to coalesce. You, Pisces, needed to process your own energy 
and to come to a place where you were ready and prepared to release things, people, situations, unions, partnerships, behaviors. And now we see that based on your free will, it's up to you to make this decision. And if you do, the time is coming into rightness to bring new opportunities coming into you for you. This is the message I have for you today, Pisces. God bless.